There are various 19th century editions of Tartini's Devil's Trill Sonata and the first movement, all of them survive without any of the double stopping, which is a lot easier. Um, so, you know, pay your money, take your choice. Um, the second and third movements, however, nothing particularly unusual about that style if you're looking at it with a with an idea that it was conceived in 1713 the trills i mean depending on what editions you might see the trills of the, the thousands of trills that you come, that you come across in the second movement um i don't think you've got to play them all um i play most of them uh, but again you 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 look at all the different manuscripts and they've got all the all the trills in different places so again i mean it's just uh it's not to think, it, you shouldn't really think of it as, you know, it, it's an ornament, right? It's not, it's not, um, you know, nobody's going to shoot you if you don't, if you miss a trill. Um, and also, I mean, it goes on for, it's a huge movement and <laughs> there are a lot of trills. In the last movement, of course, in the Cartier edition, where he writes in the last movement, the trill, uh, the trill at the foot of the bed, or the devil's trill at the foot of the bed, whatever, um, that's, that's, doesn't get much harder than that it's really 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 hard um yes giving me plenty of nightmares anyway um there you go tartini's devil's trill sonata what a great piece but remember a lot of other music by him too all right cheers